Hello, my wonderful friends. Meg is here on a beautiful day in Asha. If you're brand new to this channel, we are Zoroastrians. We are the Magi. And today we're going to talk about the magic of mantras and how when a collective come together and we repeat words, words are frequency, their energy, their life, their spirit. And when we all come together and hold these words, the, the word behind the words, magic happens. And that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna share a mantra. You know, there are different levels in spirituality, you know, there's Zoroastrians you, that you can just be born into. It, it might not mean anything to you. You're just born Parsi. Uh, then there's followers of Zarathustra. Zarathustra said to partner with him and the Magi that were, are, and shall be. There's only one thing you have to do, and that is to share his message. Right to share his word, Asha, the all good spirit. And then you partner with Zarathustra. You know, to be a part of the order of the Magi, you protect the child, meaning you're, you're protecting Asha, the, that frequency, as if it's a child. You know, spirit, Asha is spirit, it's not male or female. Right? It's not a child or grown. It, it, it's spirit. It, it's the perfect pure light. And, and so here at the Order of the Magi, we represent Asha as child so that we have the understanding of protect. Protect your frequency. Don't let the outside world harm the Asha in you. The pure spirit, the pure light. Be the love, be the peace, be the joy, create the atmosphere. Don't let the world influence you. Uh, also, we have Asha represented as a goddess because sometimes it can be so hard to put these cosmic ideas, you know, it, it, into something that we can understand. And, and so, we have something here we understand beauty the beauty of the goddess the divine feminine we have different things that we can look at like i, I think of christianity they have the cross right the different religions have different just pictures or images or items that bring people together to a focal point and so here is Asha. Asha is the spirit of the highest principle, God good. It's beauty. It's the goddess. It's the divine feminine. It's the child we protect. It's words. It's the original word, all good. Right? So it, it can be a little orange book that represents Asha. It, it can be our sigil, right, uh, of Asha. And so as we go into this magic mantra, I want you to have a focal point. It could be the goddess. It could be protecting the child. It could be the sigil. It could be your little orange book. But I want you to have a focal point. Something that means something to you. You know, this, I have many of these little orange books, but this one... It has a certain smell to it. I've spent years and years with it. My energy and its energy, you know, have become one. You know, I always say this. When you see the little orange book, you see the magus. When you see the magus, you see the little orange book. So whatever you, your focal point is, get that. Maybe draw that, the sigil, the two A's of Asha. Maybe your picture of the goddess Asha, the divine feminine. But I want you just to hold that to you. Hold your little orange book to your heart and focus on spirit. You know, there's 16 statements and teachings of Asha. In this mantra, there's 16 words. 
And we're going to say it 16 times. Now here, I just ask you to be respectful to the spirit of Asha, the spirit of the pure light. And if you're not going to do this, it's okay. We love you. But there is a difference from a Zoroastrian and an Asha Vaughn. You know, an Asha Vaughn is a truth knower. And we'll take that a step farther. When this was written, to know was to be, to be one with. You know, many of you know this, but if you're new, uh, a man would know his wife when they got married. That means that to become one flesh, they, they would be. So we want to be uh, one with Asha, where our energy and Asha's energy are one, where there's no separation. If you see me, you see Asha, you see pure starlight, undefiled, undiluted, unmixed, pure light. Go ahead and take a long, deep breath and relax. You can already feel as we're moving into this higher dimension. We haven't even done the first mantra. You can already feel it, that pure light, that light that darkness flees from, that love that hate, fear, greed, distress, dis-ease cannot live in that light and love so pure, that pure spirit, Asha. This is for the Asha Vons, where you and Asha are one. You make that conscious decision, Holy Spirit, fill me. Asha, come. Asha, fill me with your spirit. We are one. So we're going to do it 16 times, our mantra. And at the end of this, I'd ask that you go to the comments and say, Asha is, Magus, I'm here. And here's what I want you to do. There's power in spelling. You know, and it doesn't have to be pen and paper. I, I love to write with ink and paper and spell it, but you can type it too. So at the end of this, I want you to type out our holy mantra, where you and Asha are one. Here's what it is. If you have a pen and paper, you can write this out. Asha, live. Asha, live in me and I will live in you, my life, pure light. You know, I feel that in my stomach. That's my magic place. And I feel those words and the word in those words. And as we repeat this, you know, and you can count it out on your fingers 16 times. But I also want you to be envisioning that light of Asha, that pure starlight, undefiled, undiluted, pure light, that original word, the only thing that could come from a perfect creator's perfect mind, perfection, pure light. I want you to see that in you. And I want you to see that around you. And I want you to see that is you. And see that in this light, darkness cannot enter. And love is. And peace is. And joy is. And good is. Asha is. Okay, now say aloud after me, if you have it memorized. If not yet, just think along with me, and you'll pick it up soon, soon enough, and you'll be repeating it aloud. Count on your fingers. Asha, live. 
Asha live in me and I will live in you. My life, pure light. Asha live, Asha live in me and I will live in you. My life, pure light. And allow yourself just to go deeper into this light. You'll feel it calling you. It's home. Asha live. Asha live in me. And I will live in you, my life, pure light. Do you feel the merging of your spirit and the Holy Spirit as you become one, one light, one life, one love? Asha live. Asha live in me and I will live in you, my life, pure light. Asha live, Asha live in me and I will live in you, my life. Pure light. Oh, beautiful one. Asha live. Asha live in me. And I will live in you. My life. Pure light. Asha live, Asha live in me, and I will live in you, my life, pure light. Asha live, Asha live in me. And I will live in you, my life, pure light. Asha live, Asha live in me, and I will live in you. My life, pure light. Asha live. Asha live in me. And I will live in you. My life. Your light. Asha live. Asha live in me. And I will live in you. My life. Pure light. Asha live, Asha live in me, and I will live in you, my life, pure light, 
Asha live. Asha live in me. And I will live in you. My life. Pure light. Asha live. Asha live in me. And I will live in you, my life, pure light. I shall live, I shall live in me, and I will live in you, my life. Your light. Asha, live. Asha, live in me. And I will live in you. My life, pure light, Asha is. Oh, sure.